time. Yeah. The matchup knowledge is there consistently just because of how much and I, plays Rob's in general. Yeah. I don't know how real this is, but I have a feeling we might not see Ken versus Rob. We might be seeing some uh some silliness. It's some possible silliness for sure. That they that they straighten out for winners semis of bracket. But also these two are great friends. Literally anything could happen. That's a fancy they might be messy. That's a fancy word for degenerate. Yeah, they are definitely both degenerate. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, we were about to see it too. But they're only they're here for the money. They're here for the money. Everyone's here for the money. Well, Four. most everyone. <laughs> Some of us are here to People watch the world burn. Who are in winners semis are here for the money. Yeah. So N is playing against King K. It's Ken versus Rob. A very familiar match for the stream. Yes. So let's see who's gonna go home with the bag tonight. Last week. Uh, and ended up playing this matchup quite a bit against Grayson. Yes. Another crewmate, another Rob. That was in, yeah, took it all the way to grand finals. Yep. Well, so. It was set two as well, but uh, it ended up being 2 1 in Grayson's, Grayson's favor, favor in yeah. sets overall. Uh, however, the, the matchup set count, experience is there. Set count between N and King K, I believe, is in N's in, uh, favor. Okay. So the two Robs varying a little bit in. So there is no, like, actual definitive statement of saying N is bad against the matchup against No, Rob. N is very comfortable. Oh, for sure. N is very comfortable. The thing is, they're also both some of the most comfortable. <gasps> that, was that a stage spike or an a actual? Spike. Wow, okay. Yeah, that sour spot actually bounced him into the stage. So no matter what, he was not having a good time. Yeah. All right, N going to get blown up right there. So King K, that was well awareness was going nice. for that down air, even though he wasn't necessarily sure it was going to kill, that active hitbox is always a threat to deal with. That near combo oh, into the down air, that's but dope. I guess not dead. Almost any other character, that would have been enough. But Rob, of course, has that privilege. If you don't blast zone him, he's coming back. 100%. That's gonna be and speaking of blast zones, goodbye. That's going to be straight. You see that he couldn't grab the gyro with down tilt because the autocorrect had him facing King K. Oh man, and that's the one way that autocorrect oh, just hurts tough. you and also that Tatsu linear approach back to stage is gonna hurt you as well too. Anytime a uh, Ken player has to Tatsu to recover, I mean has to Tatsu. You have to punish They him. are absolutely, they should be dead. Yeah, there is no reason you should let them get back to stage after that. It's gonna be big damage. It's oh, hard for Ken is. to deal with juggles here. Yeah, there's not too many great tools, if any, for Ken to get out of disadvantage. Like so, he has focus, but not against those up airs. Yeah, that's the one weakness about Shadows. They're just essentially just heavy combo food for a lot of the cast. Mm -hmm. you know, they're at that sort of heavier end of midweight, so they fall into a lot of traps very consistently, like this. Oh, does find his way down, though. King K fishing too hard for an air dodge. And right. makes it back down. Love how he's using the back air just for the momentum jerk, just to slightly push himself away and keep an active hitbox in front of him. Toss that gyro up. Force King K to go really high. That Tatsu That's is not what he wanted. Punish for sure. And two stock from King K looking nice here for this game one. I think he wanted to shore you, but he got crossed up and auto-corrected into mm. Tatsu the other way. Okay. Sometimes I have some experience dabbling with Ken myself. Sometimes when the opponent crosses you up as you do the Shoryu input, you know, one of the shortcut inputs for Shoryu is forward and then Hadoken motion. Because that so gets forward, you the Z. quarter circle, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because you could do forward, down, down, forward, like like normal, but forward, uh, quarter circle, forward is like you do the Z, but it's like the baby version of it mm. that makes it. It's a little more consistent. Yeah. However, there comes the situation like a situation where true damage. Of yes. It, so? Oh. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, it's the same thing as like if you're playing Street Fighter and you do down, forward, down, forward, A or whatever. It's just a different way to input the same thing. Yeah. That's but still personally gives you, yeah, more how effective. I do my sure use, mm. and I've experienced that when I'm crossed up, it reads that forward, quarter circle forward, as, as a quarter auto circle back. Back because of Tatsu. Oh. So sometimes oh. you'll see that autocorrect really ruining you, even on special inputs. So it seems like what you're saying is Ken was trying to do it in that input oh. manner, yeah, and yeah. because of that, he got the accidental Tatsu input. Yeah. Okay. Sure, you absolutely would have caught that landing too. Maybe could have brought. And some big success on that stock. However, at the end of the day, we see King K taken game one. And we, that's why we're seeing this stage here a little bit closer side blast zone. So he's had that nasty mix up of the roundhouse versus the Shoryu at the ledge. Also, there's not a lot of room to run around. These platforms are also great 
for M. Yeah, just Can't for these the reset situations, especially after getting a roundhouse for the knockback, it's always good for N to follow up with consistent damage. And I think just barely missing two parries. Normally he is the parry master. Oh, tried to go for, I believe that was the F smash right there. Ooh. Just to take that early stock if he could. Trying to chase that roll, but he doesn't have the distance, so King K is able to escape. Oh, he was sniffing out that low recovery, but great jump from N just to fake out King K in that situation. King K has done a great job of fighting off of the ledge in this set so far, and that is insane because normally that's one of Ken's biggest strengths is ledge trapping. I'm scared, though, because, okay, that was a good taunt suit just to avoid that situation and gets the shore you for the kill. That was a little scary, too, because it seemed like it wasn't a deep down tilt. There was a chance that he might have fallen yeah, out. Yeah, that's was scared. What, that's what... I was like trying to be aware of, but also that linear Shoryu can get successfully spiked pretty easy by Rob. Didn't get the second hit of that crescent kick, so we didn't see a big follow up for and still 37%. All right. The back throw put him back in that ledge situation once again. Okay. I love how he's utilizing his center stage control. Like, not really trying to press Ken too much with his offense, but waiting to see if he can catch a jump or catch a shielding option. Go back up, get some space between you and that gyro, try yeah. to jump in. Ooh, and see again. The positioning. I would love to see some up tilts come out from KK or probably trying to read a jump in with an up smash. I mean, we're seeing Ken go for a lot of jump ins, but most of the time, you know, if he, if he doesn't get directly called out for them, like if N, uh, King, King K has to shield it, or if he just has to move out of the way. Oh my goodness, moving that stock out of the way. Mm. All mean, right. Those, those jump-ins are safe. Whoo. Down smash, though, gonna punish the missed tech. Yes, and the gyro will say it all. Gyro covered the perfect angle and had to go really low. Mm. Without, if he wasted his double jump up high, that was like a free laser, another resource that we'd have to spend. And really, and He didn't want to have to make that commitment. Right. King K just drops down at that point with side B and he's done like that. that? Goodbye. He has to talk too high. Back he here has is going to do again. it. Is that he it? has to jump. No, he's able to survive. Wow. Okay. And despite being in that horrible scenario, was able to make it back safe and sound. At the cost of 87% though. We can see though how well this combo game is coming into play for Ken though. Almost getting that spike hitbox, but no go just yet. That up air will not do it. That was great recognition from King K, realizing where the gyro was placed. Rolling was almost completely Ooh, safe. And the Shoryu is not going to be able to reach for that ledge. And King K going to take out N with the 2 0. Moving on with the 2 0. Moving on to winners. Uh, winners semi? Winners semis. That was quarters, right? Winners finals. Winners finals. Oh, that was, All right, King that K. That was semis. In winners finals. We probably finals. said that out loud earlier. My brain is semi-functional at the moment. Yeah, it's it's getting down